we are going to go check on Callie. I don't know if she had her babies or not. She does usually have hers like the next day after her due date. Here's a turkey hen with all of her babies. They're getting really big. She's a great mama. There's a chicken out. Hi, Dolly. Callie, when are you going to have your babies? Are you going to have them today? I can't wait. The look on her face, she's like, ugh, go away. I don't feel good. Poor Callie. Hopefully she will have them soon. Okay, so Callie didn't have her babies. Mia does have her babies, so let's go and see how they're doing this morning. Good morning. Oh, I'm squeeze in this cage. I forgot your sunflower seeds. I'm so sorry. Dee's is gonna go get her sunflower seeds. Mia is um addicted to sunflower seeds and I can do anything with her as long as I bring them but I forgot them. Can we see them wiggling? I'm not gonna touch your babies until I get your sunflower seeds. I promise. I cannot touch Mia. She's a very honorary doe. I can't touch her unless I have sunflower seeds. Then she doesn't care what I do with her. But I can't touch her until I have them. I'm sorry. She's going to get them. Yeah. She is a gorgeous rabbit. Absolutely love her eyes. She's got some big old eyelashes. These two over here are doing good. Hi, Gloriana. You want to come say hi? I just named her Gloriana. I absolutely love that name. It fits her very well. She's just glorious. So I named her Gloriana. Alright, big girl, here's your sunflower seeds. Squeeze back in this cage. Sorry about the camera. There. There you go, my love. Look how gorgeous she is, y'all. No care in the world as long as she's eating her sunflower seeds. Some black oil sunflower seeds are really good for them. It has a lot of fat content, has some protein, and will help their milk production. You don't want to feed it to your bucks because it will make them over fat and have breeding issues. But it's great for your nursing does. Not too much, about a teaspoon to a tablespoon a day. If your doe has never had any of this before you want to start very slow a couple of day build up as you can see Mia loves them she has them often I'm gonna put the rest in her feeder right here so that I can look at her babies and she's not gonna care you wanted to check on them at least once a day to make sure that they've all survived. I check on mine. As soon as they're born. A 
this one's foot is caught in the fur. Uh, this is another reason why you want to check. Please hold my camera, please. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so here's the baby. It looked like it was meconium, which is the baby's first poop. Um, Dee's was very quick to bring me some warm water. And I wet it just a tiny bit in the area. There's no damage to the skin. I was very careful. Now it's going to pee on me. There it goes. <laughs> it's all part of life. It's natural. So, that is a good sign that his body is functioning correctly. He's got a bunch of little rolls on him, isn't he? He's so cute. Okay, now, she is very nervous about the fact that I have her baby. And I had to close the door because she was going to jump out to get it. So, I'm going to put it back in the back of the nest with the rest of them and continue to check them and make sure that everyone's normal. But, a lot of people want to know, can I check on the babies right away? Please. Please check on them right away because this baby would probably not have been able to go to the bathroom with that stuck to its bottom. Its leg probably would have been amputated from the hair being wrapped around it. So the mama cannot fix that problem. You have to, as a responsible rabbit owner, check on your babies very often to make sure that they are not in need of your help. So, all of Mia's babies were okay, except for that one, and it's been fixed. It's important to move them back to the back of the box and make sure that they have fur over them. The mama rabbit cannot cover them with fur. So, if you uncover them, it's important for you to cover them back to keep them warm. If you do come out and you find a baby on the wire, put it back in the box if it's alive. If it looks like it's dead, it is very important for you to take it inside, warm it up, and make sure that it's dead. Kits can be cold and look dead, but still be alive. If there is blood in its fingernails, that means that it is dead. But if there is not, it's always a chance to warm them up and bring them back. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.